Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Jay again. And this is the video where our adventure officially starts for the Tamriel Rebuilt mod. So we did a brief sneak peek on Episode 0, but that was mostly just us getting some starter gear from Satanine and then getting some orders from Kaios Kosades from Balmora. Uh, so now, we play for real and actually develop this story and playthrough. Okay, so I'd like to introduce our characters because we've been thinking about the kind of people we want to roleplay in our playthrough of the Tamriel Rebuilt mod. And I'll start. Like I said in episode zero, I based my character on Isabella from the Dragon Age series, which is a favorite game series of mine. And I figured I could adapt her backstory for the Elder Scrolls lore. So my version of Isabella is that she is a red guard from Hammerfell and she was going to be married off to a rich man, but she didn't like that. So she ran away and became a pirate instead, except uh, pirating didn't go too well. So she got captured and ended up in Morrowind. So my idea is that she is a swashbuckling thief who will steal your heart, but she's got a soft spot for the downtrodden and oppressed. So she really hates slavery. My character is just called Jay because I'm not creative. <laughs> and he's a wood elf who hails from Chaden Hall, where he used to be a Robin Hood esque bandit who would steal from the rich and give to the poor. Um, and he did that for a number of years successfully, becoming a famous outlaw in that region. And he realized that his time as a outlaw was coming to a close. Um, so he was going to do one final last heist on one of the local nobles, uh, but it didn't go well, and he got arrested. And I know what you might be thinking, so how did two people end up getting off the boat uh, via the Emperor's orders? And since one person's named Isabella and the other one is Jay, I thought it would be funny if the reason we both got released is because the Imperials messed up their paperwork and thought uh, our names were just like one person. <laughs> yeah, so I guess we're Isabella J. Yeah, at least to the Imperials, anyways. So for our characters, uh, we met on the boat, and since we didn't know anyone else here in Morrowind, we figured we might as well stick together. And that's the story of how we met. So tell them about the story so far, Jay. Yeah, so, so far, in Episode Zero, uh, Isabella and Jay got released from custody in St. Uh where they uh, had a couple of shenanigans around there, but that's almost not even in lore because of St. goofiness. Uh, but... In character, they went to Kaios Kosades in Balmora, who, as you know, he immediately tells the player, you know, go on other adventures, become stronger, and then come back whenever you are a little bit tougher. Uh, so with that, Jay and Isabella decided to go to the mainland, Old Ebonheart, and begin their journey there. Emmy, do you want to go ahead and summarize what we did last episode for our little brief stint here in Old Ebonheart? Yes, let me check my adventurer notes. Let's see, so... As soon as we entered Old Ebonheart, we ran into a lady called Emilia Vichichi, and she wanted us to commission the famous Waycrest painter Neil Gaimont, which sounds a bit like Neil Diamond, to paint her portrait for a suitor. We went to his art gallery, and uh, initially he didn't want to paint a portrait, but he agreed because it was for love. Oh, How romantic. And while we were exploring the streets of Old Ebonheart, we ran into this Breton knight called Hormiday Farrelly, which sounds like the scientific name of some kind of creature. And he came here for a tournament on his trusty steed. But it turns out the tournament was canceled, and his horse, named Roz, was stationed at the Guar stables, but has disappeared. So we kind of suspect that she got turned into horse burgers, but uh, hopefully it's not going to be that gruesome. And that is where our investigation begins. Yeah, I found a quiet little corner here in the tavern because I was sick and tired of these NPCs yapping at me. Anytime now, <laughs> that's right. I had to turn their dialogue down because they were just distracting with how loud they were. Hey, you took your helmet off. Oh, I wanted the players to see my beautiful face. Ah, uh, well, they're not going to see my ugly face. It's wrapped up in chitin. <laughs> okay, so I was thinking last night, whenever we were getting ready for bed, we didn't check 
the the guar stables themselves. Maybe there's like a horse bone or something. Originally, uh, that's we a good just, idea. Yeah, originally we had just looked for like a campfire or something, but there's nothing over there. So maybe we'll come across something crazy. Yeah, it wouldn't be a stretch that the guar ate it. No, no, it would not. Let's see. Anything in this hay pile? Nope. Anything? Nothing. What's up? What's up, little lizard boys? Anything over in your side? Uh, I can't get past the guar to, like, examine the hay. Hmm. I guess I'm not supposed to go back there. Nothing over here. Oh, I'm about stuck. I had to jump past him. Hmm. Doesn't look like any bones or meat or anything. What if we make her like us? Do you uh, think she would be more willing to talk? That's a tall order because uh, my speech craft is not too hot. I've already been trying to uh, be friendly with the guards and that's not been turning out too good. Uh, mm. Hello, ma'am. Might I interest you in 10 drakes? Hey, she liked that. 73 disposition. Let's see what happens. Tell me about Roz, missy. Fine. You want the truth? The horse was stolen. I was busy buying grain in the market, and when I came back, the horse was gone. I have no idea who took it or why. Please, I have nothing more to say on the matter. Oh, so she did have more to tell us. The horse got stolen. But where to? I asked her again. I said, hey, tell me about Roz. Like, there's something more here. She says, I already told you. The horse was stolen when I was away. I have no idea who took it or why. Please, I have nothing more to say on the matter. And I have some forcing dialogue options. Are you sure you're being truthful? Or stop lying or I'll gut you like a fish. Or, okay. Which of those three, Emmy? Mmm. I, I mean, I'm not sure you should threaten to gut her. Let's choose the friendlier option. Are you sure you're being truthful? Uh, yes, I'm quite sure. I don't know about that. That is not convincing. The er <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> yeah, okay, she's lying. Okay, well, I clicked on Roz again, and it gives me the, the whole dialogue tree. Should I just threaten her? Yeah, might S as well. Stop lying or I'll gut you like a fish. You don't scare me. She's right. I really don't scare anybody. I'm like five. Because you're so short. Yeah, I'm like five foot zero. <laughs> Trying to step up to this lady at level one. Okay. Uh, what if I? What if I just say okay? okay? Besides, it's not my fault that stupid horse went missing. Really, that knight shouldn't have brought it here in the first place. Hmm. Okay. So she's definitely hiding some more, but. I don't know about giving her more money, so she's... I, I bet she, like, sold it or let somebody steal it or something like that. Or she put it to the guar. I'm, I'm like, telling you, something... This this horse is not going to be here, guaranteed. Let's go back and see if we can talk to the knight and see if he knows Yeah, anything. that's what I was thinking. Maybe we can tell him, like, hey, someone stole your ride. <laughs> Come on, knight buddy, help us out here. We're trying to do the right thing. Let's see. Yeah, down this way, right? Come on, Mr. Breton. Where are you at? You pompous fool. Here he is. Yeah. Patrolling up and down this alleyway. Yeah, buddy. Man, I gotta say this mod looks so good. Oh, I'm a big fan. Alright, buddy, you are listening. Have you found Roz yet? I would give anything to feel her mane again. To hear her soft knicker. To hear her hooves crush our en enemies beneath us as we ride them down. Oh, Roz, come back to me. This guy's weird. And when I clicked Roz, he says, Oh, you can't miss her. She's a beautiful chestnut mare. A mix of Nabean Corsair and Volusian Wild Horse with crystal blue eyes. And she just loves carrots and yams. That fetcher Unessa Sidrathi was supposed to take care of her. And now she's missing. Uh, so about Unessa... She's a guar herder. Uh, so I cannot report anything additional to the knight. Um, hmm. Are we just going to beat the crap out of this lady? 
Or am I gonna have to increase her disposition even more? Uh, that's the only option I can think to take. Maybe we could talk to a guard? Hmm, maybe. Hello, guardsman. He's not one of the ones that hates me, so that's nice. But he doesn't have anything about the horse. Okay, so we can't report the horse was stolen. Nope. Oh, and this guard now hates me. Oopsie. <laughs> what did you do? I tried to admire him. I told him how beautiful he was, and I guess oh he just... Oh my gosh! He didn't Stop swing that way. Stop hitting on the guards. He, he, you uh... Turns are out harassing them. They are on duty. I guess that isn't appropriate, but I thought, you yes. know, maybe he'd want to go for drinks later or something. Ah, so you were like, ah, oh, what time do you get off work? Yeah, and he said never because Morrowind NPCs don't <laughs> sleep. <laughs> All right, woman, listen. I know I ain't like that cool or dangerous looking, but please. I'll, I'll, I'll stand behind you and look intimidating. Can I, can I give I'll, you? I'll, I'll get my sword out. What if I gave her? Oh man, we don't have that much money though. Can I give her some more money? You want some more? Yeah. 83 disposition. You are generous, Jay, and your judgment is good. Damn straight it is. Now tell me about Ross, please. Sigh. Very well. I'll admit it. A pair of Ashlanders came by at dusk with a great load of chitin for barter, worth far more than the knight was offering to watch that grotesque beast. He'd been so rude to me, they seemed so interested in the animal, offering their chitin for it. I gave in. Please, don't tell the knight. The Ashlanders' names are Yavin and Sinot, Sinot from the Obanite tribe. There is still a chance you can find them before... <clears throat> well... Tell me about Yavin and Sinat. They're Ashlanders from the Obanut tribe. Last I heard, they camped out near Dondrel. If you hurry, maybe you can catch them before they cross back over the river to Rothroran. Alrighty. The plot thickens. Thanks, lady. <laughs> Put on your dang helmet. You're going to get killed out here. Okay. Gotta... I just wanted to. I just wanted to look cute. Well, we we don't. We they, no cuteness is not a factor right now. I look like I'm ready for dang Mad Max over here. <laughs> okay, so Do oh Dondrel and okay Dondrel's the only one mentioned, so it must be down here. And what did that lady say? Camped out near Dondrel along the road to the Sundered Scar. Apparently, they're planning on eating the horse. Alrighty, so we're going to go rough up some Ashlanders, maybe. Okay, they have definitely already eaten the horse. I will be so surprised if we see a horse in this game. Yeah, I, I will uh, scream and cry. Oh, I love the detail on this, though. You could tell that they really packed in a lot more content in the Tamriel rebuilt than the base game. Hey, that looks like a campsite. Hmm. <laughs> I think this is a fun quest so far. Like, I'm engaged in it. I want to know what happened to the horse. I'm engaged, too. I totally see a campfire up there, though. Me and my... All right, let's hustle. Well, do we want to go there, or do we want to keep following the road? Because that's a bit off the road. Let's let's continue trucking for a little bit. <laughs> Taking a oh, stroll. Oh, that, that doesn't look nice. What is that long dog looking thing? Do you see it? Yeah, are, that thing's weird. Wow. Are, are you a friend? Hello? Ew. What? Eee. Well, I'm not going to fight it if it's not going to fight us. Okay, leave, yeah, leave it alone. There are these also these like r blue raspberry jellyfish hanging around. Oh, yeah, those are the, uh, the Betty Niche. They're, Betty Niche. They're the females, and the ones with the shells are the males. Oh. The ones off in the distance you can see. Yeah. Are they nice? They are nice. They're uh, pretty tough, but they won't fight you as long as you don't fight them. This must be Dondrel up ahead, I'm guessing. The little floaty guys kind of remind me of, like, the creatures in Subnautica. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm walking because my stamina is low. Oh. Oh, goodness. I guess I'm kind of low, too. Yeah, so we gotta have our swag. Instead. Gotta RP walk it. For some reason, in the whole expansion pack, 
this is the only thing that's not rendered because whenever I first was checking to make sure that the textures were here, I turned on God mode and flew around uh, on another account. And this flag was not rendered and it's still not rendered, so weird. Yeah, it's not rendering for me either. It's just pink. Well, I can deal with one glitch. I didn't find anything else that wasn't rendered. Let's see. Any buddies? Any Ashley? Oh, the, the Netch is stuck in the tree. Oh, he freed himself. Yay! Go, Netch, go. Okay, about full energy. I want to start jogging again. Is this Dondrel? Yep, this is Dondrel. So she said... She said near. Yeah, near Dondrel. Hmm. Is that some people? I keep thinking of, like, Minecraft controls where I can do the little zoom in with Optifine. <laughs> Where are you jerks at? Where are you horse-eating freaks at? We ain't scared of y'all. Man, this horse is definitely toast. What do you think horse tastes like? Uh, I don't know. Uh... Everyone always says that meat of... Like, rare, weird meats taste like chicken, so I guess we'll just go with it tastes like chicken. <laughs> Hmm. This looks like a little farming area. It's a farm. Probably no Ashlanders here, but let's see what we're poking around at. <laughs> what do we have here? Farm storage hut. Hello? There's oh. a gentleman. Jolib must be related to Jib. Very similar spelling. Uh, hey, what are you doing here? Be on your way, Outlander. You'll gain nothing by dawdling and drondle. What's so bad about here? Our village is but a small farming community resting in the western foothills of the Antheran close to the Sundered Scar. We grow our crops on communal plots of land owned by the local Enduril nobility to and keep to our own affairs. Uh, what's this sundered scar I keep hearing about? It's been a pretty dangerous place as of late. It used to be a manageable route for travelers, but in recent years, Durzogs have become more numerous, numerous along the roads. Better to avoid it altogether and take a different route into eastern Morrowind. Okay, what about uh, Yavon and Sinat? There are a couple of... There's a couple of... Ash if I could talk. There's a couple of Ashlanders camped out east of here, near the pass into Sundered Scar. Maybe that's your pair. Follow the road east, and you can't miss them. Thank you, sir. Wow, we actually got some info in here. Yeah, and this guy low-key doesn't like us, because it's like 45 disposition east. Alrighty, we'll head east then. So is, is disposition like the American grading system, where... <laughs> You know, if it's a if it's a fifty are below, you're failing. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Except like, yeah, I guess fifty is is the easiest or the the most uh is where it starts, and then uh usually they won't tell you anything cool until it's seventy or above. Let's see, east, east, east. Is this the road to the Sundered Scar? Is there a sign that might say something? Fool. Well, this road's kind of east, more like southeast, but we'll follow this out and see what happens. Be on the lookout for some well-fed Dunmer, because I guarantee you that horse is not there. That horse is gone. What are you going to do if we walk up and there's a there's a horse in Morrowind? Just a rendered horse? I think that'll be quite... Neat. I mean, this mod has added a lot of, like, textures and creatures and stuff, so... That is true. It's Let's not impossible. 
if I were, I'm going to hop up on these rocks and see if I can get a better vantage. I keep thinking those are campsites, but those are just little lanterns. Let's see, anything? Is that? That looks like a campsite, yeah. Check Ooh. it out. See that over the distance? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Except I have no fatigue, so I'm going to pretend to wait for one hour. Boop. And now I have full fatigue. Remember, you can press T and do that. Okay, good tip. Oh, and there's a little cottage over there. We can check that out, too. And I'm very curious what this is. Oh, this is more than just a small camp. This is like a whole town that we're creeping up on. Is this not a campsite? I could have sworn that was a little... Oh, what do we got here? Is it a plant? Orange, is the moss... Orange what? moss. Yeah, you can just grab it. What is orange moss? I'm, I'm afraid to eat it. It looks a little, uh, pungent. Eat it. No, I don't want to die. I don't, have, I don't even have anything to, like, cure diseases right now. I'll give you five gold if you eat it. I gave you all the gold you have, Emmy. <laughs> you have no power here. <laughs> Let's see. I don't want to talk to these people yet. Uh, so this is full, apparently. Uh, but I don't want to start anything over here. I don't want to start any drama. Let's head back. So, originally... Then just head due east from the... Sweet Skooma! Who said that? Oh, probably just a slave? Or... What are you doing here, Delnar? What are you? You're a farmer. Okay, I was about to say, are Dunmer being enslaved too? Have you seen a horse around here? Uh, once had an Ashlander ask me if horses could swim. I told him, how in oblivion would I know? I've never seen one. Yeah, we've never seen one either around here, buddy. Alrighty. What about you, slave? Hello? Uh, can I help you go free? There is no escape from the Enduril. They have the keys, they have the guards, and they have the land. Yeah, you're right. It's a, it's a bit grim around here. Sorry, Khajiit. This feels like a east-facing road. In a campsite. Come on, little Ashlanders. You can't be that hard to find. Yeah, this is definitely the eastern road out of, uh town. <laughs> I'm low on stamina, so I'm going to rest an hour. Oh! Oh, oh no! Get away from me! Get attacked by assassins! Ah! He doesn't stand a chance. They're kicking his butt, Emmy. Go, girl. He can taste my zappy sword. Nice. Well done. Got him. I, I'm kind of surprised that uh, a carved ebony dart. 2,000 gold. Whoa. Holy moly. Also, silver dagger, that's nice. I was worried about what would happen if we ended up encountering a ghost or something, but at least with the silver dagger, I can do a little something. Man, so I didn't realize the Dark Brotherhood were going to be uh, coming for us, because, well, now I have way better gear. I wasn't expecting to have such nice gear so early on. Oh no, you stole his clothes. Yeah, he's he's naked now. And I'm taking that dart. Journal's updated because of the dart. One of the assassins had an odd dart on his body, the look of which I had never seen before. Interesting. I didn't I didn't realize that was uh significant. Hmm. Well, my armor rating is now thirty nine. That's pretty nice, I guess. And I'll just be kind of looking like a ninja for the rest of the game. Hey, I think I found our boys. 
finally. Yes, let's see. I do. N oh, there's our horse. Uh, was it? Mm. This is the horse. Oh hell no. Okay. Oh, we're too late. Yeah, I figured this is gonna happen. Oh, Ross, why? All right, get your weapon ready, cause I want to see what these fools want to say. Yvonne, my man's, what's up? Uh, yes, Outlander. What is it that you want? Uh, so, uh, Roz? Oh, you mean the horse? You're a bit late. We've already butchered and started eating the creature. Doesn't taste anything like Guar, even less like Nixhound. Strange beasts they have in the West. As for our deal. We were under the impression your friend, the knight, had sold it to the Guar herder. Our trade with her was fair and forthright. We suspected no ill doing. If what you say is true, and the herder sold us what wasn't hers, then take this bow and arrows to the knight with our apologies. Aw, oh, so they they didn't know what they were doing wrong. So I'll put away my sword then. Oh, this this is a good bow and arrow though. Continue. We would, however, appreciate it if you did not tell him where we were. Uh, outlanders tend to not be understanding, nor forgiving. Ah, okay, well, thank you very much, Yvonne. I appreciate your honesty and, and forthcoming. They really didn't have to give us the, the bow and arrows because they've already paid for the dang horse. So really, the one to blame is the uh, stable lady, whose name I'm forgetting. Let's see, flame arrow, ooh, uh... More Armacod is the name of the bow. It detects animals and fortifies uh, marksmen for 10 points for 30 seconds on yourself. And it does from 1 to 10 damage. So it's only better than my chitin. Only slightly better than my chitin bow. Mm hmm. So would Jay just take the bow and leave the poor knight to never know what happened? Or should we go try to uh, finish this and let him know the fate of his poor horse. Hmm. I don't know. He might give us a better reward, but he might be so mad that... Let's see what Sinat has to say. What can you tell me about Roz? The Obina have fallen on hard times, and the horse would have sustained us for months. I was going to bring it back to our tribe in Roth Roran, but Yavon had other ideas. That, and I can't imagine such a hefty beast swimming in the Third River. Understandable. Alright, well thank you, Sinat. Okay, well I guess we'll go back to the Breton Knight and tell him what's up. He's probably not gonna like it. Mm, I imagine not, but... Get shrieked. <laughs> I look so goofy now, like just a straight up ninja. But I guess I looked goofy before, so there's no escaping it. Morrowind armor is just goofy. Period, bottom line. There's new armor uh, in this mod. I keep wanting to call it an expansion pack, but in this mod there's new armor models and stuff. Mm. But the, the problem with the Dark Brotherhood armor is it's just so good. <laughs> like, you're a fool to not wear it. We'll talk to you people later. For now, we have to report back to old Nightman. Alright, let's... I want to talk to this lady. And maybe kick her booty. Because she... You have been the problem. I'm so much less intimidating when I get off the step. I'm like, hey, lady. And then I step forward and I'm like, short. <laughs> All right, Unessa, you are mean. Yeah, you're you're just hateful. You are a bad person. Tell me about yourself. Yep, that's me. All right, you sucker. She doesn't want anything else to say, so we'll go talk to her. All the right, night. we're done with her. I thought maybe I could shame her or something. Be like, hey, you ugly. And then... <laughs> and then uh, I don't know, I didn't think beyond that, because maybe she would just laugh at me, because my speech craft is too low to even taunt people. I thought you were supposed to be the chatty guy. I was supposed to be. I'm trying to level it up on the guards, but it's not working too hot. Well, I totally look like a villain running around this town in the ninja gear. Oh, 
Well, we might as well join the Dark Brotherhood since you have their uniform already. You can't end Morrowind. It is impossible. It's impossible in the base game. Yeah, I'm sure there's mods. Uh, yeah, Hormiday. So, uh, uh about <clears throat> about your horse, my man. Uh, so, yeah, she's dead. Uh, and then he says, she's she's dead. Ross, my sweet Ross, I had a bag of yams waiting for you when you came back. How did she die? Who was responsible? Uh, so we can lie and say Roz ran away and was eaten by wild animals. We could uh, say Yvonne and Sina, a pair of Ashlanders. Or we could say Unessa sold her to Yvonne and Sina, who killed her. They are all responsible. No! <laughs> They're not all responsible. It's Unessa. She sucks. I say let's not let's not turn in the Ashlanders because they didn't do anything wrong. So I think well, our option is to. But the Ashlanders did say that we could tell them. Just don't tell them where we're, where they're at, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So maybe we can back. They're all responsible, but then you know don't go looking for the Ashlanders because I want I want Unessa to eat an elbow. She's a bad person. She sucks. She killed the horse. What do you think? I just don't want our two boys to get in trouble because, like, they're they're cool. They tried to do the right thing. They tried. Let's see what we can do. They're all responsible. They ate her and tried to apologize. I don't want their damned bow. They took the only thing in this world that matters to me. All for some savage ritual in their primitive curiosity. This guy seems like he's way too into his horse. Yeah, he's a freak. He's a, he's just like a horse girl, but... Oh, he's a horse boy. Uh, I'll show them pain. I'll show them what it means to lose everything. Starting with oh. that treacherous cur who sold Ross to them. Unessa Sidrathi, you're a dead woman. And, before, oh. and then it says, before you can answer, Hormadai takes off running to the stables. Your journal has been updated. Goodbye. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. he's gone now. Ooh. All right, let's see what the journal says. I told uh, Farrelly that Unessa Sidrathi sold Ross to the Ashlanders. Enraged, he has sworn to kill her. I mean, yeah, she deserves it. Also, my screen just got quite a bit brighter. Did yours? Yeah, mine has like kind of a foggy filter on it. Yeah, now. I guess it's because it's technically morning now. Which reminds me, I noticed the YouTube video was a little bit hard to see. So maybe I will uh, make the game just a little bit brighter. Just a smidge. There we go. Oh, that might be a bit too much. Uh, let's let's just do, yeah. Just just the, the tiniest smidge. I know it's supposed to be getting bright and foggy right now, but hopefully it's not too piercing whenever it's daytime. You skipping skipping merrily along to see if Unessa just <laughs> gotta increase my acrobatics. Just straight straight got the oh, beat. Oh, they're down. fighting! They are fighting. Uh oh. Get him! Get him! I'm not getting involved in this crap. I'm not catching the bounty. Oh, he killed her. Yeah, he kicked her booty. All right, Hormiday. He straight up murdered this lady. She got what she... Oh, no. Uh, Emmy, go ahead and get your sword wet ready. Whoa. Uh because -oh. he said she got what she, she deserved. Now tell me, where are the Ashlanders who ate my horse? And I can say a short walk east of Dondrel. Or I can say I'm not telling you. And uh, I vote for not telling him. Yeah, let's not tell him. But I think he's not going to take too well to that, so let's see. You're defending them? They're thieves! Murderers! Clearly you are no better. I misjudged you, Jay. I thought you were my friend. Now get out of here before I kill you. Goodbye. Oh, he's not going to fight us? Okay, nope, fine. I guess not. What if I talk to him again? <laughs> What's up, my man? Uh, and I asked him about Unessa, and he says, Yes, the pointy-haired pointy-eared traitor who was supposed to look after Roz. I hope she rots. I hope she does too, actually. Does she have any money? I Next. already took it. <laughs> oh, my. How much did she have? Uh, it was like 26. Not very much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got to do her little victory dance. Oh. It's controlled to sneak, by the way. Ooh. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 26 bucks. <laughs> oh, we got to do it over her corpse. Yeah. Oh, no. This is what you oh, get no. for killing the horse. <laughs> All right. This is what you get for selling stuff that's not yours. Well, I'm glad that he didn't end up fighting us. Uh, sorry, Hormiday, but we have we have a little bit of honor left within us, and we're not turning into Ashlanders. They they thought they were just getting a free meal, <laughs> just a free snack. Well, they didn't. Even, it wasn't even free. They paid for it. So yeah, they and they tried to right their wrong. They were doing the right thing. Okay, so uh, we did that. And then, I, mean, I, don't, I don't blame him for being mad. I'd be mad if someone ate my pet, too. I mean, I would, too, but he, he would go and kill them. And we, I don't want that blood on my hands. They're, they're just little buddies. Um, so what were the ingredients, Emmy, for uh, the, the paint stuff? Uh, let me check this ingredient list. How do I look at it? Uh, so if you open up your uh, inventory, if you left-click on the thing and then just put it on your person, it will read it. Okay. Hold on. I believe it's Sorry, I'm, works, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. I, uh... Yeah. Come I on. I don't know how to read it. Emmy, okay. I believe in you. Uh, bitter green petals, five. Hypha fascia, five. Scrib jelly, three. And fire salts, one. Fire salts might be a tricky one, but the other ones, I'm fairly certain, are all pretty common, so we should be good. Well, I know you can get fire salts in Skyrim by killing flame atronauts. Yeah, same in this game for sure, but we might be able to just go to an apothecary and make our lives easier. The Mother Alessia. Is this an apothecary? What is it? Is, that a, is this a bakery? I think it's a bakery. Hello? It looks like a tavern. Look, biscuits, biscuits, bread, more biscuits. Yeah, we're at a little bakery. How sweet. Loaf of Colovian bread. Where are the sweet rolls? Where is the sweet roll? What the heck, lady? Kalsa. Come on, girl. Welcome to the Mother Alessia, Old Ebonheart's finest bakery. If you need anything, just ask. We also have work available if you're interested in collecting Baker's Guild dues. Excuse me? Baker's, Baker's Guild? Baker's Guild? Uh, what's this about a Baker's Guild dues? Can you believe that bakers are selling bread in this city without the authority of the Baker's Guild? Unbelievable, I know. Are you a good negotiator? No. Interested in helping collect dues and fines the guild is owed? Uh... There's a Baker's Guild? I've never heard of it. <laughs> you could say that's one of the dialogue options. You've never heard of the Baker's Guild? Everyone knows about the Fighter's Guild and the Mage's Guild, but there's a guild for every occupation. The Butcher's Guild, the Baker's Guild, even the Candlemaker's Guild. Now how about it? Interested in collecting those dues? Uh, <laughs> certainly. What do I have to do? Good. You Man, are we are we becoming enforcers for the <laughs> bread mafia? Hell yeah, let's do it. Good. You need to talk to four different bakers. Uh, turn. T t I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna mess up all these names on purpose. So you got Turnstead. I told you, give them like normal names if you can't pronounce them. We got we got Turnst <laughs> Turnstead Harrowhand, Emerock Harquat, Gull Eye, and Merletta. Uh, Yarantus, I would assume. Uh, tell me about old uh, Turnstead Harrowhand. She's in the plaza in front of the Grand Chapel of Talos. Her bread is made from low-grade wheat flour imported from Skyrim rather than from Morrowind salt rice. But she doesn't have the proper paperwork. The fine is 30 drakes. <laughs> Alright. Tell me about Emerock. He owns a bakery close to the slums. When you exit our store, head down the street in front of you heading east. You'll pass by his shop just as the street curves northward. There's a basket of free bread just outside his door. Defective product, which, according to the Baker's Guild Charter, should either be discarded or sold for livestock consumption. Also, he isn't a guild member and refused to pay past dues. His total debt is 290 drakes. Holy moly. 
All right, These yeah, guys are serious. Wow. Yeah, we're shaking some mofos down. All right, what we about... We really are. What about Gulai? He runs an amateur shop out of his house next to the docks. He isn't a guild member and has reported... It has been reported for unsanitary conditions. We aren't as strict with the impoverished, however, so we will only collect 60 drakes. Also, please mention that all Argonians are required to wear gloves while kneading dough. <laughs> awesome. I mean, I get it. Probably Salmonella. <laughs> and, uh, what about Merletta? She runs Pine Fist Foods right in front of Emmerich Harquat's bakery. She isn't a guild member, but usually doesn't mind paying the penalty. She owes 120 drakes. Uh, awesome. So, we're going to shake down those four people. Did you write them down? Uh, no. Might be in the journal. But anyhow, I want to see what she has to offer. Biscuit, biscuit, bread, calm berry, Deshaun bread, half loaf of Clovian, Clovian, scrib pie, Wick wheat, no sweet roll. Pathetic. This place sucks. What if I sold her the orange moss? She'll take it. Enjoy. Mm -hmm, I got, tasty. I got one gold for that. Yeah. I wonder what's upstairs. Anything cool? I already looked around. There's nothing really interesting. Nothing. Hey, there's a guard that I can make hate me. You say you've been attacked by assassins? From your description and the look of that dart you found, it sounds like the work of the Dark Brotherhood. I'm not sure who you angered, but stay away from me. I suppose this should be officially reported, though. Speak to Sinilo's Toolness and Firewatch about this matter. Uh, yeah, later on, my mans. But can I just tell you how beautiful your eyes look? Uh, he didn't like that. Fail. Uh, can I give you ten gold? He didn't like that either! <sighs> You're sexually harassing him, and now you're trying to bribe him? Man. What is he going to think? I don't even have that much money. That reminds me, I might need to repair some stuff. What's the quality? Uh, not bad. Back to full gear. How's your gear quality, by the way? How do I check? Uh, if you just hover over it, it tells you the condition. Uh, hmm. you know, blank out of blank. <laughs> see. Everything's pretty good. Alright, good deal. But I, I have... you're taking more of a beating than I am. Uh, not really, but I just repaired it real quickly to make sure that everything was in tip-top shape. Alright, so I guess we're gonna go beat down some hoes with, uh, bread dues. Man, this guy really doesn't like me. I'm sorry, guard. I just tried to tell you you were beautiful. Okay. So, I actually... We haven't explored much of Old Emmonheart. We've been down this one street, basically. Um, so, we should probably look around a bit more. What have we got? Whoa. I think... Oh. Lady. Fajalma. <laughs> I know it's Fjalma. Uh, Fjalma the Urchin. Uh, first time at Eben Old Ebonheart, huh? That's cute. I'm Fialma. You could do with a friend who knows this part of town like the back of her hand. I keep my head down and my eyes and ears open, so I know many a little secret and all the latest rumors, too. Uh, alright, well tell me a little secret then. One day when I was fishing out septums from the sewer outlet, I saw a Bosmer fly screaming out of the castle tower. I wonder if he's okay. Hmm. Interesting. Latest rumors? The treasure chamber in the Ebon Tower Palace was broken into recently. It's been kept a secret, so naturally everybody and their aunt and skin grad knows about it. No one's got a clue as to who was behind the burglary and how they managed to pull it off. What's interesting is that the vaults were supposed to be unbreakable, spound bound, sp un they were supposed to be unbreakable, spellbound and all that protected by the mages guild themselves sounds like an inside job my 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 lady who doesn't wear a shirt the empress Kataria orto rumaria outfitter do people just not believe in clothes around here put a shirt on people it's a nudist colony mm. i know there's a slums district this almost feels slummy. It's kind of hard to tell. 
mean, I guess the houses are kind of small, but, like, they're still nice houses. I live in there. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't turn my nose up, but much of this at all. Let's see. So where did she say... Uh... Imarak Harqua, he owns a bakery close to the slums. When you exit our store, head down the street in front of you, heading east. We were heading west, so... Uh... Let's head back this... No, we were heading east. Hmm. What do we got here? Enchanter. Oh, there's bread! Bread! Let's get this bread! Where at? Right here. Here we go. This is the place. Oh, this dude's about to get his booty touched. Let's Look go. Living out, leaving out all this bread. My mans, where you at? What do you want? Hello, Amarok. There's seldom much time to just stop by and chat here in the city, citizen. Make it quick. Uh. Hey, so you look really pretty, actually. Oh, no! Stop! <laughs> he dropped Stop! down to 20! <laughs> I thought I had a chance. Oh, my you God. You can't help yourself. You're a flirt. Mm, can I... I think our disposition is shared, so he hates me too. Thanks. Are you down to 22? 20 as well, I should say. Oh, uh, I'm no, I'm 45 actually. Never. No, mind. 45 was where I started at. Uh, uh, I'm afraid if I if I offer him gold and he drops even lower, then we're really in trouble. What if I just ask him about the Baker's Guild dudes now? Hey, look around you. This isn't exactly the most well-to-do district in Old Evanhart. I put old bread out in the basket out front for the poor and destitute in the city. I'd just throw it away otherwise. It's not hurting the Baker's Guild, and it's not hurting my business. And no, I have no interest in joining the Guild. <laughs> Alright, so we have two options here, Emmy. Oh boy. The first one. Uh, we can say... I'm sure you could find a buyer for your old product. Perhaps the guild could help. Sh Perhaps the guild could help with some contacts. If you pay the 290 septums you owe, I'm sure we can work out a suitable arrangement for everyone. Or we say, "What a noble, generous community spirit you have!" I'm sure we could get the Baker's Guild to look the other way for, oh, say, 500 septums. Whew. So do we extort the dude or uh, try to hook him up with the Baker's Guild? Uh, golly, you know, this is what makes role-playing so hard because I always want to do the nice person thing. Yeah, it's hard to be the, but, the butthole. Like, but like we're kind, we're kind of role-playing a little bit shady people here. I mean, we're so not like we evil. Can... We're just a little bit opportunist, but you know. Kind of, yeah. I guess we'll mm -hmm. say like chaotic neutral, I suppose. Okay, so maybe. maybe. Right, well, let's think about our characters. So I, I feel like Isabella has a soft spot for people who are struggling, and I think she would sympathize with the guy. Yeah. So maybe she wouldn't try to extort him. All right. What, what so would what would your boy do? I think Jay would do the same. He'd be like, "Hey, man, you know, maybe you all can have some mutual, uh, uh." success by joining the Baker's Guild. Just, you know, pay the dues and they can hook you up with some contacts. Alright, let's try yeah. it. Unbelievable. All the Guild cares about is profit. Don't they know that life isn't easy for everyone in the city? What do they care if I give away some of my bread? It's my bread. Now you can kindly get out of my shop. Ooh. Mm, goodbye. Mm. So, uh... I... Amarok refused uh, to pay. I, uh... Mm -mm. What if I... Don't... Okay. We're... We're, what we're if... not very good guild enforcers, are we? Look away from me so I can tell if I'm hidden or oh. not. Okay. Okay. What a beautiful tapestry. What if I just... Well, there's 29 gold. Well, there's a little bit. Let's, uh... This looks promising. 
No, there's nothing in there. <laughs> I like how we're like, oh, we're not going to be mean to the downtrodden. And then, uh, he refuses to pay 290 gold. And I'm like, I'm sure as hell not paying that out of my pockets. Baker man. Uh, we're going to need... He isn't selling sweet rolls either. Nobody is. I guess Kinda. his wife is upstairs. Oh, let's threaten her. I'm about to, but first I'm going to see if they have any uh, money hidden around back here. Anything in your closet? Man, he was he was saying like, oh, you know, this is such a poor place. He's got this. He's got some nice digs up here. Yeah, it's this is better than our condo. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Can I get a little? I don't know if she'd catch me. Uh, there's seldom much time to just stop by and chat here in the city, citizen. Make it quick. Uh, and she does not want to talk about any of this stuff. So, goodbye for now, wife lady. Oh, here's another lockbox. What if I just, uh... Am I hidden? Maybe? Yes. Yes, I'm hidden. Oh no, my crab got reported. No. Oh. Ah. Oh no, is it cuz I looked over at you? Yeah, walk walk downstairs cuz I think something might be I I can't tell. Okay, I'm sorry. I will admire the tapestry once more. It might not be you. It might just be the Morrowind dice roll of constantly checking for success and stealth. Well, uh, let's see what my bounty is. Probably not too high. Yeah, 10 gold. That's okay. Though I think I ended up getting less than that out of here. Okay, so they have no money. They're broke. Um, what if I talk to him about it again? <laughs> what kind of bread do you want, Jay? What about the, the dues? Uh... Uh, yeah, he he's just not... Can I... Uh, my buddy, we don't... We don't even have the money to afford your dues. We'll figure something out, Amarok. You're a good man, and I totally just robbed you, so we're gonna do, we're gonna do you a solid, brother. Don't we're worry. We're gonna do you a solid with the guild. Well, we have to. Like, we... It like kind of forces our hand. There was nothing to rob, so we're just oh, like. Oh, we can't just straight up take this bread. It's not even considered uh, well, a. Well, yeah, because because he left it out for poor people, <laughs> so we can just take the poor people bread. Mm -hmm. Well, we are poor. So... I mean, are we though? I am in like probably twelve hundred dollars worth of or twelve hundred gold worth of ninja gear, but whatever. Let's see. And who else was right beside Emma Rock's place? Uh, let's see. Morletta Yarantis runs a shop in front of his. I bet it's this one. Yeah, Pinefest Foods. This is it. Dang, they're right next to each other. Yeah. Like the competition, though. All right, lady, with your forehead. She's got a five head, man. Uh. Oh my gosh, she's even worse than like a lot of the females, like. So, they all have five heads, but she's got like a ten head. So, Merlotta, your forehead uh, really makes me blush. It worked! 59 <laughs> dispositions. She likes me talking about her forehead. Uh, so what about them <laughs> Baker's Guild dudes? You're collecting for the Baker's Guild, are you? Well, there's nothing if not persistent. No, I'm still not interested in joining the guild. I find baking the best bread in Old Eppenhart is much better for business. How much do I owe this time? Hmm. So we can we have two options here, Emmy. We can okay. say your fine this time is 120 septums for doing business without the authority of the Baker's Guild, or I can say you owe 250 septums today for being unregistered. So we can basically try to swindle a little extra on the top. I think we would do that. Yeah. All right, you owe us 250, lady. 
250, whatever for. This sounds more like a shakedown to me. Uh-oh, what did she... Uh-uh. She was not willing to pay that. Um, hey, Merletta. You are so pretty. Yes, back to 59. Uh, 120. <laughs> Take it or leave it. She's into short kings. <laughs> she says 120. No. <laughs> uh, Dang it. <laughs> so I'm, flirt with her some more. I'm like 250. She's like no. I'm like 120. <laughs> 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 this is pathetic. We suck. Let's see. Anything upstairs? Hello. Journeyman Armorer's Hammer. I'm taking that. Totally. How are they affording these, like, spacious townhouses? Yeah, on freaking bread alone. Building the businesses right next to each other. Oh, They got hey. that bread! Here must be her husband. Just chilling up in the corner. What you looking at? Rolled paper. Fallow Gerontis. I see that lockbox in the corner, don't you? Trying to sneak up. Uh, nothing of interest to talk to with him. Jumping on the bed again. They got an expensive amulet by the bed. I see that. Hmm. Yeah. They, they ain't gonna pay their dues. Maybe they can pay another way. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting this luck box. Anything in this box? Hey, what do we got here? Roots. Okay, uh, so I'm just gonna sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, <laughs> turn, turn away. Ooh. I will not witness your shame. Hey, 85 gold, that's not bad. I need to be invisible, though. There we go. Yeah! Money, money. Okay, lady, um... <laughs> All right, I guess. I mean, 80, 80 something gold's close. I just hate for us to be not turning a profit each time. I'm back outside, by the way. Ah. Yeah. This awkward, foggy morning. Uh, I guess this is evening. This foggy evening hard on the eyes. <laughs> it says this is allowed. What have we got in here? Moon sugar! Bottle and bowl. And flask. I too just store my illicit drugs just in, in a, a box in on a, the street. In a box, just chilling. We need to find a Khajiit or Argon. I guess it's just a Khajiit. We need to find a Khajiit seller for that. Gulai, hey, there's our there's our other person. All right, pantry man. <sighs> so far we're we're uh, o for two. Let's see if we're o for three. <laughs> Gulai, uh, what brought you to the poor side of town? Gulai, your legs—they are so scaly. Oh no, twenty-six. Stay straight and sharp, Wood Elf. Mm, could I? offer you 10 gold? Oh no, he didn't like that either. Uh, what about the Baker's Guild dues, please? Let's, let me see if I understand you. You want me to pay guild dues for something I have no wish to join, and you want me to wear gloves when I bake bread? Do you make the same requests of mammals? Why would you insult me in this way? I mean, gloves are just good hygiene, man. And we have two options. All you need to set, all you need to pay all you need is to pay 60 septums for your fine. It will be good for business. Or a payment of 100 septums will make things right. <laughs> Alright. Come on, man. Just give us 60. Please, baby. No, I don't think I will. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> now, if you're interested in some fresh baked bread, I'll be happy to sell you some. Otherwise, you and I have nothing further to talk about. And we're down to 17. <laughs> <laughs> Emmy, we suck at this so bad. <laughs> oh, we're just going to make all the bakers in town hate us. Yeah, they they definitely already do. Low quality chest. Let's What if I just peek in this little corner? Come on.
Come on. Am I hidden? Please. There's no way he's going to see me. Oh, okay, so... We've failed on three of them, and there's Turinstrid Harrowhand in front of the Grand Chapel. I know where that's at. Let's go. Oh, boy. Uh, yet another person to tell us to... F off. Heck off. <laughs> yeah. Oh... Away we go, away we go. Maybe they'd like us more if you didn't harass them I'm, before we asked for their dues. But we're at like 45 by default. That, that's nothing. I'm trying to get at least a... I'm sure at 70 they'd probably be a lot more receptive, but there's no way in hell I'm getting up to 70. Alright, Turnstrid, where you at? Salus. Are you the... Yeah, here you are. Don't press your luck, she says. Oh, boy. Disgusting? What's disgusting? I took a shower like a week ago. She said it twice in a row. Oh, man. She... She doesn't... She is really not into short guys. I was about to say, she doesn't like short kings. Okay. Uh, I'm just not even going to flirt with her yet. Uh, Baker's Guild dues? Are you kidding me? I hauled the wheat for this bread all the way from Rorikstead myself. I baked the bread with my own two hands. Why should I pay to not sell it? A one-time fee of 70 septums will keep the Baker's Guild off your back. That's, uh, more than what they asked for. Please! Are you trying to extort me, Baskethead? Leave! Now! Alrighty, so, uh, Emmy, here's the sitch. We have failed on every single one of these. And the total amount that they owe is quite a lot. Ugh. 30 plus 60 plus 290. That's, uh, what, 380 plus 120 is 600. We're at 600 drakes. We don't even have enough. <laughs> to pay this crap off. You better practice your flirting skills. Is this a Khajiit? Hey, we got a Khajiit. I'm gonna go sell that moon sugar. <laughs> I have to. Was it here? Oh, here you are. Here you are. Isabella. Alright. Khajiit. Could I interest you in... drugs? Yes, yes I can. <laughs> Dealing drugs right in front of the guard. Could I interest you in some chitin crap that I just bought and I'm definitely selling at a loss? Yes. And... Why do I not have my bow? Oh, it's the lockpick. Okay. Ooh, could I interest you in a carved ebony dart? Because that's way more powerful than what I need. And the Scrolls of Icarian Flight. Yeah, we're going to make some money, finally. And Figgy's Gym Feeder. I think that should be good. Hey, she doesn't buy the Olympic. Okay. Does she have anything we want, though? Let's see. Imperial Dagger, Spear, Sword, Nordic Silver Longbow. Hmm. And a Nordic short sword, but you're a long blade. Apparel, anything cool? Silver left pauldrons. Okay, some silver stuff. That's pretty neat. Dragon scale curious. Clovian fur. What's this? Frostguard robe. Not that great, though. Uh, I don't think she has anything we really want. Um, Master Armorer's Helmer. Helena. Armorer's Hammer. Okay, yeah, I think we're just going to sell some stuff, get a thousand gold about. Offer refused. Offer refused. 
Offer refused. Come on, woman. Thank you. Goodness gracious. Okay. <laughs> We are just not having any luck today. Uh, no, heck no, we aren't. Everyone hates us. I mean, rightfully so. Hey, guard. Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, no! What? <laughs> what? What? I clicked on the guard because I was going to flirt with him, and he was like, Hey, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you violated the law. <laughs> well, you walked right into that one. I did. I'm just going to pay the gold. Uh, nine gold has been removed from my inventory. Uh, uh, hey, guard, you're very handsome. Thank you for not throwing me in jail. Up, oh, nope, down to 27. <laughs> <laughs> you think you'd be interested in a criminal? Uh, I, you're a criminal wearing this get-up. I was about to say, is there something wrong with the way that I'm dressed? Do I just look <laughs> like, a, like a freak? Is that what this yeah. is? Yeah, you got, like, little horns. You are a freak. Uh, yeah, definitely not the best look, I know. Wow. We've got like a whole episode worth of just our collective failures. Uh, your failures. Hey, now. I'm just following you around. Hey, uh, we're a team here, and that means when I fail, you fail. <laughs> There's, here's a bank. Cool. What's going on here? Hey, look, another guard to flirt with. Hello, guard. The Nine and the Empire, you are so handsome. Hey, he liked that one. That was a success. Like you I found the one guard that's, like, down to be sexually harassed. Your armor is really cool. Uh, he didn't like that one as much. We're back to start. Uh, what you doing later? Mm, down to 32. I'm going to press my luck. Nice shoes. Okay, we're down to 17. He hates me. <laughs> Good. Who lets this freak up at the front desk? I mean, really. Yeah, she's doing some things with her makeup, which I, uh... Totally unprofessional behavior. Okay. We'll, we'll deal with the bank later. I'm sure there's some interesting stuff going on there. We need to join a freaking guild so we can, like, get, get started on some stuff. What is the Red Guard Guild? We're, we've Red joined Guard the Guards. Baker's Guild. I don't want to join the Baker's Guild. They suck. What do we have here? Greetings, greetings. My name is Hamal of Sentinel, a merchant from the faraway province of Hammerfell. Have you come My to see... My people! Your people! Have you come to see the fabled shield of Mad Husa's gaze? I have other goods to sell as well. No, I don't want to see your shield, but thanks. Ooh, it's got a 20% resist paralysis. That Ooh. seems pretty good. Nice. A leaker broadsword. A leaker dagger. Cool little uh, broadsword that might look pretty neat. Why are all the books in this mod just enormous? I don't know. <laughs> I noticed that too. They're just super jumbo. Uh... Let's see, I'm trying to find anything that might be good for you. Redgar Lamellar uh, armor. That's apparently light, though. Always like the Alakir looking stuff, but eh, I guess there's nothing of interest. This guy's dressed to impress. Yeah, I noticed him. Looking fresh to death. Nothing up there. <laughs> See the tailor. If you're looking for the best tailored, best quality clothes, you've come to the right place. Yeah, let's see what you got, my mans. Hmm. That's actually pretty cool. Two gloves. Ooh. Glove of the Cosmic Door Jam and Glove of the Cosmic Door Knob that does mark and recall on oneself. Hmm. So that's pretty neat. Might be useful. Who expensive, though. Could I lower the price just a smidge, please? Please. Offers refused, please. Offers refused, please. <laughs> <laughs> they, really, they really don't like me, Emmy. I'm not succeeding much here. Hey, guard! I see you! Wait, let me flirt with you, please! 
Uh, cool hat. No, he, he didn't. He doesn't even wear a hat. I know. <laughs> That's why it didn't he work. He's hatless. But we do have mark and recall uh, abilities now, so. If we're out adventuring, that might be helpful. Barrister's Guild. So, like a law office? Yeah, seems like it. That's pretty cool, actually. Good attention to detail. And these super jumbo books. There has to be something wrong here. There's no way these books are supposed to be that big. Yeah, uh, these are, like, enormous. Could bash someone over the head with these books. We'll talk to the barristers later. But cool little office area. We might need their help if you keep sexually harassing the guards. Yeah, probably, but... Exotic weapons... Let's see, where is the Fighters Guild? I'm sure it's somewhere on the main street. Certainly, right? There's the Mages Guild. Well, our athletic skill's gonna be increasing as we <laughs> run around this city like a couple of crazy people. Fighters Guild, so do we want to join them? They might have opportunities for us. Might as well. Hopefully, we'll be a bit more. <laughs> you successful. just you just jumped right into it. Didn't even stop. Sorry, I had auto run on. Oh, nice. Is that Q? I think. Yeah. I had it on by accident. Goofy. Alrighty. Before we join, I'm gonna just look around, see what's what's going on here. Looks pretty neat. Oh, check out this orc's armor. Ooh. He's bony. A bony boy. I bet you that's medium armor, so you might end up wearing something like that. Oh ho! Yeah, Fighters Guild looking pretty pimp around here. Nice spiky shoes. Oh, she's an old orc. Hey, those are the most dangerous kinds because they're still alive after all that combat. Hoo hoo! Yeah. Alrighty, let's. Join the Fighters Guild, shall we? Rathus, tell me what's up. Good tidings, friend. How might I help a fellow citizen of the Empire? Wow, already at 80? What did I do to make you so happy? What's your background? Scout and apprentice of the Fighters Guild. Uh... You're not the one to talk to about joining. What about you, Holga? Nope. Who should we talk to about joining? Is it you, Fatus? What are you ogling at, you arse-faced <laughs> You ass-faced goat? You uns your unsightly mug must be the reason why there aren't any mirrors left in this damn elf-infested sinkhole of a province. Oh my gosh. I mean, he's right, though. I am an ugly P.O.S. <laughs> I guess I guess the word about you has gotten around, huh? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's <laughs> he he knows I'm a Have you talked to this guy, Rathus? Rathus. Yeah. He he really liked me, but he didn't have anything to say about uh joining the fighters guild. Huh. See, there's this little guy over here in the corner. This Nord. I don't know you. What do you want? Uh, I would like to join, but you don't seem interested. I like his outfit, though. He's got he's got good drip. He appears to be our bard. If that loot is anything to go by. Yeah, it makes sense. A well dressed, well, well dressed bard. Let's see what the. Oh, oh my gosh! When I read <laughs> that you won't escape that easily, I thought. We were gonna get attacked. Okay, a couple of people training. Khajiit man, are you the one? Nope, guess not. Are you the one that we talked to about joining? Nope. All right, back up to the main floor. We'll eventually find the person. There's just a lot in here. <laughs> I feel like it's gotta be Rathus. Like, he's you the one think? who's, like, right in the front. 
Fadus handles tasks for the newcomers. Sharnoga upstairs handles orders for higher ranking. Okay. Is it the old orc lady? <laughs> Old orc lady, Sharnoga. Well, speak up, Wood Elf. What do you want? Are you here to join the Fighters Guild? Yes, ma'am, I... Yes, ma'am, we are. You look like you could take care of yourself. Before I sign you up, you might want to look at the Fighters Guild charter. Are you ready to sign up now? Well, Sharnoga, what's the charter? Your duties are to your lords and brethren, and always proceed with honor and valor. Keep a keen and watchful mind and never succumb to the craven tricks of the weak. As a member, you are permitted to use items in our equipment chest. It is traitorous to fight or thieve from other members of your guild. If you break these rules, you must speak with at least a warder of the guild to redeem your standing. Do you feel you can uphold these simple ideals? You bet. You are now Jay the Associate in the Fighters Guild. Work hard, follow orders, and you'll do just fine. Seek me out if you feel you are ready for advancement. Tell me about this equipment chest, because, uh, I like having stuff. Most guild houses have an equipment chest with supplies that can help you on your missions. Members are trusted to take as much as they need. Well, what are my orders, Sharnoga? Normally, I would, use, I would send you to Fatus downstairs, but he seems to have picked up some kind of curse from his last mission. He's babbling nonsense at anyone who dares speak with him. And no, that isn't normal for him. I'm no alchemist, but I believe an exclusive restore willpower potion might cure him. Alright. So we need an exclusive restore willpower potion to help okay. out the dude that was super cussing us out. To the alchemist we go! One minute, I'm gonna blow my nose. Okay. Uh, uh, I messed up. Don't fight back, Emmy. Huh? They didn't. They didn't want us to take the uh equipment chest. Are they going to keep trying to attack us? Okay. Whew. They're peaceful now. Run, Emmy. Run. Huh? Run, Emmy. Ah! Oh, you you got killed. Ah. Oh, Wait, what's going on? Oh no. What? They. He being died. What? Oh. So I tried to grab something out of the equipment chest and. Oh. What did you do? I went outside. Ah! Why are they attacking me? Ah! Don't. Don't fight. Don't fight. Just go back. <laughs> what the heck? Stop. Let me explain. I tried to grab something out of the equipment chest, and, uh, they didn't like it. Oh my gosh. I might have to just let them kill me. Let's see what happens. Jay! I just tried to grab something out of the equipment chest! Jay! Oh, Luckily, nothing that I use too much. Let's see if that's what worked, because otherwise we... We'll have to restore it. Are they still after us? Okay. I think we're good. Step inside and see what happens. Okay. Anything? Uh, okay, I think we're, we're good. Goodness gracious. Oh no, we got kicked out of the fighter skills. Jay! I literally tried to grab it out of the equipment chest. Like, the equipment chest that we have access to. Well, apparently we don't have access to it. Okay, so to recap, we tried to reach into the equipment chest because we are guild members, but. The equipment chest is off limits, and um, in that in the process of that, they killed an Argonian upstairs, 
And then I allowed them to kill me, because hopefully that would make them stop. And it did, but now we're kicked out of the guild. Uh, uh. We have to make amends, though. That's right, you have been expelled. If you apologize for your actions, I'll give you one more chance. I'm sorry. Alright, you'll have your whole trait back in just a moment. But if you screw up again, there's nothing I can do for you. Alrighty. So, uh, we're off to a super rough start. That's cool. <laughs> this has been quite the episode. Yeah, we've we've been some real mess-ups. Well, let's see if we can make it right. Yeah. Alright, so... <laughs> maybe, we can, maybe we can still turn things around. So, uh, lesson learned. If it says red on the crosshair, it truly means red. I thought maybe the thing had just not been updated, but cool. Oh, I wonder if the guard are going to want to uh, extract a bounty. Do I have one? Yeah. Oh my gosh, 150 gold! Oh, <laughs> I can't catch a break. Ah. All right. Here's the here's the money. Take uh, 135 of it. Oh. <laughs> Okay, now we need to find an alchemist and get the potion to help out our buddy. Where is the alchemist is the question. Find potions, there we go. About in this area. I'm gonna take the alley as a shortcut. Ooh, what do we have here? Cheap potions. Are you like a discount alchemist? Her name sounds like Belladonna, which is Deadly Nightshade. So watch out for her. Eh, she just sells a couple of healing potions. Nothing interesting. Goodbye. Man, this game's tough whenever you can't reload an earlier save, and so if you mess up, you're just <laughs> in trouble. Imperial Archaeological Society. Cool. Here's the potion store. Yes, we need an exclusive restore willpower potion. Do you have access to that? Exclusive restore... Let's see. Restore... Willpower. Yes, right there. Alright. We have the potion. Hopefully this well, can that, start to make amends should, for the fighters' skills. Yeah, that should patch things up a little bit if we can cure their their boy. Man, we're really going to have to earn that reputation. <laughs> It'll be okay. We'll do it. We're good folk. Yeah. I hope he being wasn't important because he's totally just dead. Oh my gosh. They killed him? Yeah. Why'd they kill him? I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> they just, they randomly killed him. I guess they were just looking for an excuse, huh? <laughs> Maybe he defended you or was in the way. Okay, let's see. Fetus. Drink this dang potion. Okay. So once we give him the potion, Fadus begins coughing. Filthy wretch! Ah, I can finally speak for myself, Wood Elf. I don't recognize you, but you must find the witch Margia Sikora. I failed to slay her and barely escaped with my life after she cursed me. Go to the cave of Git, cast east of the city, past Sirenthul in the mountains. Find her and free me from this fate. Ah! Is that guar I smell, or just a wood elf opening their big mouth? <laughs> okay, so, updated journal. And then... Will you not tell me where it gets at? My friend... Where is Git? That should be near Sundered Scar. Afraid no one here knows the place as well as Fadus does. Ask around in Dondrel. They might know better. Okay, so back where the Ashlanders were earlier. We're going to actually win this one, Emmy. I swear. Yes. 
We've been having too many run-ins with bad luck. We gotta turn it around. Okay, so I guess we'll ask around here if anyone knows where Git is. They're you just gonna like say, guard? get out of here. Yeah, get along. Git. Haven't heard of that name. Sarenthul, though. I've seen... It is an infirmary of the temple, an old Velothi tower where they recover from their wounded worries. That place is due north of here, but it's isolated. Leave Drondil, Dondril through the eastern gate, then follow the road and take a turn left. You should pass near an egg mine, but you'll need to get off the road onto a rocky path and cross a few rope bridges. If you go there, be considerate. They aren't expecting too many visitors. Oh my gosh, these directions. Yeah. So we'll head like we were going to Sundered Scar. And then, what did they say? A rocky path? Let's see, leave Dondrel through the eastern gate, then follow the road and take a turn left. You should pass near an egg mine, but you'll get off the road onto a rocky path and cross a few rope bridges. Alrighty. Onwards, onwards! Oh, by the way, we need scrib jelly, right? For that uh, yeah, we do. painter guy. Time to squash some scribs. Oh, well, that was easy. Mmm, any, jelly. Any jelly? Yeah, jelly, jelly. Good work. We'll make me some peanut butter and scrib jelly. I'm, I bet it would be pretty tasty. I bet it would taste like bug guts. There's that butt naked assassin. <laughs> Gonna dance on his corpse. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, pop it, lock it, drop it. <laughs> okay, I don't see any egg mines yet. Oh, what do we have here on the sign? What is an egg mine? So in Morrowind, what? they uh, they have like these. Uh, I don't know, like slug like things as um, they have these slug like things as livestock it's those little slugs that attacked us back in Sedanin but they have colonies like an ant uh, hill that's deep inside of a mountain and within those the Dunmer will uh, cultivate it for eggs oh that sounds very appetizing doesn't it though something sounds aggressive what is that sound? Is it the... Is it the Netches? Might be. It sounded like... Yeah, it's definitely the Netches. That's what it is. Okay. Where'd you go, my short king? I'm back at the sign. Sarenthul. So, Sarenthul's this way. So, I guess we'll continue on the path. Eggmon, Eggmon. Yeah, this is heading north, so I think we're along the right path. I've never seen that bug. Interesting. That's kind of cute. Yeah. Oh, that looks like a mine up there. Where at? Up here. It looks like a mine. Ah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely a mine. Let me read my instructions. So... Leave Dondrel through the eastern gate, follow the road, take a turn left. You should pass near an egg mine, but you'll need to get off the road onto a rocky path. Okay, so there's the egg mine. Okay, a rocky path. Let's keep following this road and see where it heads. Hello, guardsman. Yeah, Vandasir egg mine. This path looks rather rocky, so I think we're on the right path. There's one of those weird dogs. Well, so far they've not been hateful, so... 
Velk. Dang, these things are kind of freaky. They really are. Okay, where does the path continue to? Because it doesn't feel like it continues through here. Hmm. They say a rocky path, but there's tons of rocks. Maybe that path is a little too rocky. Let's trace back to the egg mines. We've gotten this far. I guess we'll just keep following along this for sure path and see what happens. So it might be onwards this way. This also feels like a quote rocky path, so fair. Oh, and another scrib for us. I'm going to rest an hour to get my stamina and then snap them. Haha, <laughs> got him. There's no escape. What? Oh, you're attacked ah. by an assassin. Ah! Watch your health, by the way. He's not even hitting me. Oh, good. Woohoo! I bet you I'm running pretty low on arrows, aren't I? That was literally my last arrow. Wow, how prophetic. <laughs> okay, well, I've got 15 flame arrows, at least. That's cool. Let's see. Oh, four chitin arrows. That's nice. And then another silver dagger. Yeah, I'll take that as a backup. I feel like it's a bit of an exploit to keep taking the Dark Brotherhood gear and trying to sell it, so we'll have to leave it behind. Otherwise, we would get too rich too quickly. <laughs> okay. You play so fair. Oh, I'm just trying to make it a little challenging, you know? Maybe too challenging, because right now we suck, but... Okay, yeah, this is definitely a rocky path. Yeah. There's, yeah. And there's the... the bridges. I want to let you lead, because in case something comes up, we need you with the sword. I am here to protect. I, I appreciate. And watch your stamina. If it gets too low, be sure to rest for an hour. I might rest for a second here. Oh, another assassin! Oh. Actually, you know what? Oh no, which one? Which one do I hit? Oh no, sorry. He, yeah, he's the one that you're hitting. Get wrecked, buddy. And thanks for the ebony dart. Oh, I will. T I will take those dang darts. My sword's out of charge. Oh. No more zappy zaps. No more zappy time. Okay. Watch your step. So this is the Surinthal. Um, which, when asked about Git, they said, it's an infirmary. Hmm, so it's near Surinthal, but not actually there. The way I understand it. Hmm, what's this little thing? A little hovel. Oh, this is the... Did I, did I say Sirenthal? It's... Yeah. Yeah, this is the door to Sirenthal. Hmm. The infirmary. Hello? Anybody home? These people seem nice. Hello. You are not a god. 
but you will be in my dreams. Well, that's awkward. Goodbye. I have nothing else to say. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of forward, sir. Hello, Alv. Welcome to Serenthal, and please don't bother Lavari, the person that I just talked to. She's in an unpredictable state right now. Is there anything you'd like to know about this place? Could you tell me about Git? The place you're describing should be near the Dwimmer Ruin to the east, across the river. Some Velk herders live nearby. They might know the way. Okay, so we're going east across the river. Let's go! You like how Morrowind actually feels like an adventure? <laughs> I I think it's kind of funny that we can stop by these random places and just ask them for directions. Yeah, that's, that's like the Morrowind way. Okay, so east is this way. So back across the river? What? We just got here. <laughs> Let's see, where would the Velk herders be? So yeah, just across the river, there might be a little herder area just off okay. our, our little path. Look for some herd animals. I'm gonna hop on top of this rock. Oh! I believe... Yeah, there's a Velk down this way. This is a true adventure. I'm gonna rest an hour. Okay, good. No assassin. Oh, so these things are the Velk. Yeah, yeah, that's the Velk. Little dog-looking thing. Uh, Deniva Shack, hello? Are you here? This looks a little bit uh, robbed. Hmm, yeah, I'm a touch concerned. Yeah, I want to take the money, though, because uh, Finders Keepers... If I were a Velk herder, where would I be? Is that a rat up ahead? Mm -hmm. Looks like a rat, yeah. I'm gonna sneak attack it. Oh, I shouldn't have hit it with the flame arrow. Oops. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> that was a bit overkill. <laughs> no kill like overkill. I'm gonna switch to my dagger because I do need to conserve arrows for when we inevitably fight this witch. They said it was in a Dwimmer ruin, right? That looks like a Dwimmer Ruin. Yeah. The place you're describing should be near the Dwimmer Ruin to the east across the river. Okay, so the Velt herders are not to be seen, so it's got to be around here. Mm, oh, there's... No, there's the Velk herders, maybe. There's another shack, at least. With another Velt chilling by. Yeah, these feel more like herders, because they're in a yurt. Yeah, yeah, here's the herders. And they've got more than one. Mm-hmm. I was mistaken. Okay, resting an hour to get my stamina, so I can talk. Hello, my friend. Can you tell me where Git is? Ask Eren. He knows the scar in the ridge better than I do. It's not a pleasant place for a elk. Okay. You, Eren? Yes. You must be well-traveled, Outlander, or very lost to find such an out-of-the-way corner of Morrowind. Uh, yeah, so we were looking for... Git? Straight east, out, straight east of here, on top of that gray ridge, even somewhat on the other side. You can see the scar from there. Alright, straight east. On top and of the away ridge. we go. I like the noises the Velk make. They do make cool noises, don't they? Yeah. Very alien. I, I like their little proboscises. I didn't notice a proboscis. Yeah, they have like little butterfly noses that are all curled up. Hmm. They're they're like they're like bug dogs. Bug dog horses. Okay. Bet you it's on the other side of this jumbo rock. Aha! I see a cave entrance. 
Looking a bit sussy. Sussy, was he? Uh, yep, this is Git. I'm getting my bow. And I'm going to repair... I'm getting my sword. Oh, I should probably rest an hour, so I'm doing this in full fatigue. Oopsie. Wow, I'm not doing so hot on these repairs. Okay, good deal. And that's the last hammer I've got. All right, you ready? Let's go. Hello, any witchy? We're not going to go straight for the kill because she might want to talk to us. Sometimes people want to just chat in Morrowind. Yeah, mm. she seems like a talker. Hello, Margia. What business brings you here? Please, make it quick. I'm a very busy alchemist. Uh, what'd you do to our homie Fadus? Fadus? Was he the brute who knocked over my ingredients and tracked mud into my cave? Side note, uh, how can you track mud into this dirt cave? But anyway, <laughs> um, I'm sure Valbon is having a great time inside him. He thinks I'm a witch. Ha! I'm Margia C... Last name. The greatest alchemist this side of... On... The greatest alchemist this side of the Thier. I'll make a deal with you. If you'd agree to find out who placed a bounty on my head, I'll give you a person, a potion of cure. Oh my god, if I can talk today. I'll give you a potion of... I'll give you a potion to cure your precious fetus, and I'll even train you in alchemy for a price. Alright, I'll help you. Sound good? Yeah, why we'll, not? We'll she seems cool. About. I'll help you. Excellent. Take this potion and force it down his throat. Be ready for a battle. I can't think of any Daedra who like being evicted forcefully. Uh, come back when you find out who wanted me dead so badly. And she gave a potion to uncurse him. Thank you, Margia. We appreciate it. What's down here? Uh, just her bedroom. Okay, cool. Alright, Emmy. Let's head back to Old Emonheart, but we'll go ahead and end this episode before we leave this cave. Now's a good stopping point. Sounds good to me. Alrighty. And away we go.